Who wants to hit a booming draw off the tee? Me. I'm the man to show you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We are on the 22nd hole at the Villa Sol Resort in Portugal. The sun is shining and I am faced with, as you can see from the flyover, a brutally tough tee shot. We've come all the way off the back tee here. It's measuring 320 yards. Now, let me tell you, I am not a fan of hitting a short iron or hitting a, a, an iron off of a short hull. Get your words out, Stuart. It's the heat, it's getting to me. I want to attack it, but strategy is telling me, Stuart, what on earth are you doing? But let me tell you, it's, it's a tough fairway to hit even with a five iron. Therefore, I am gonna do my utmost to try to give myself the very best opportunity of hitting a little draw down here. I see it as a draw, got loads of room out to the right. Trees, admittedly, but we've got another fairway to the right of those. So if I'm gonna miss it, I'd rather miss it over there. I've got out of bounds up the left. Now, the way my mind works is I could definitely fade it away from the travel, but it feels like I definitely don't want to hit it out of bounds. So the likelihood that I'm just going to spoon one out there and blast it out right is more than likely. Therefore, I'm going to put a few thoughts in place with how I want to move and a couple of details at my setup. Let me tell you how we're going to do that. If you followed enough of my videos, hopefully by now you will have watched the grip series. Now the grip series puts your left hand in a spot that allows you to live on the strong side of life. What I mean by the strong side of life, a face to path value, that is negative. That is going to make your ball try to bend left. If your ball is not bending left, people, you have not got a negative face to path. And if you haven't got a negative face to path, it's making your life more difficult. So if you're new to the channel, Welcome, subscribe and share and like while you're here. But if you haven't watched my, my video series on the grip, please do it. If you haven't seen a face to path video, video, uh, go watch it. And if you haven't seen my attack angle video, go watch it. They are three pivotal videos and video series that will really, really make a difference to your golf. The reason why I say that is because the first thing I'm going to do to make sure this ball draws is I'm gonna get my golf ball further forwards in my stance. As soon as I move, and I'm gonna exaggerate, well, I'm not gonna hit it yet, but I'm gonna exaggerate. If I move my golf ball that far out of my toe and that club head swung past me, and I'm not talking about toe down, just the physical head swung past the handle with a good grip, that face would have some value of pointing to the left. When we pull on the driver and then we swing the head, if we meet it with the head past the handle, it would be with a good grip, it would be almost impossible to make the face look to the right. Therefore, how much the club meets the ball past the toe, this toe will give me an opportunity to start bending the ball to the left. So, I'm going to move the ball further forwards in my stance. That's number one. Second one, when I'm practice swinging, what I'm looking for is the sensation that the club head has swung past my handle. So I'm going to do a couple of these little left arm swings. So the club, I pull, I let it swing, face is looking left. You can see it's still got loft here. I'm going to be hitting more up. I'm going to launch it higher and she's going to draw. And the third element, and you would have got a little bored with me saying it, we've got to find the toe people, the heel and the toe, the gear effect on this club more than any other club will dictate the draw that you see in the sky. If you have a negative face to path and you whack her out the heel, you are still going to see fade. So you've got to make sure that the contact is hanging out toe side. To recap then, ball forwards, left arm drill, making the club head feel like it's going to pull, swing. There's the loft on the club, it's not toe down. I've swung the head, I've swung the head. 
The loft is still looking at me, but it's looking left, it's not looking right. And the final one is striking a more toe side. Let's put those three elements to the test. Because I'm gonna bend the ball to the left, there's no reason why I'd be aiming straight, right? Because if I'm gonna try to draw it, she's gonna go out of bounds. <laughs> so my line, <coughs> excuse me, is down the tree line on the right hand side. The difference between the middle of this fairway and those right hand trees is only about 10 or 15 yards. So it's not like I'm aiming a long way off. That would normally be the right edge of the fairway. So it's a tight hole. Now I'm gonna put all that together in a rehearsal. So the ball's forwards, I'm allowing the golf club, the transfer in the lever to swing. There's the pull, there's the swing. As it swings, the club face is gonna to start to unload on me. I'm gonna aim myself up the right. Ball is a long way forwards. There's my rehearsal. Now it's go time. And that, my friends, is how you do it. High beauty of a draw down the fairway. It was an absolute perler. There is no finer feeling than having a say over the bend of your golf shot. You need to practice it though. It is not something that is gonna to come to you just by luck or by chance. But hopefully those three keys, ball position, unloading the golf club through the energy transfer and striking them all out the toe, is gonna to allow you to turn up at a tee shot that is super tight, hit your shape and find the middle of the fairway and ultimately lower your scores. I really think that that's good coaching. <laughs> I would, I'm putting it out there. Hit the like, share and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye.